Welcome to Kiddo and Janko Wednesdays at Lunch Burger, Burger Edition. Edition. This week we are joined by a very special guest, Mr. Derek White. Hello. Oh, hello, Derek. Hello, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you right now, but I know you're here. <laughs> I can see you're sweating bullets, Matthew. It's 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 ah, oh, it's far too hot. And before. Don't... Don't put this all on the weather. <laughs> okay, well, I'm putting a lot of it on you. You, you, thankfully, you just closed the door and and, and shades. But yeah. uh, before I had I had sun hitting me from everywhere. I had sun coming in the window to the left. Sun bouncing off the mirror and hitting me in the face. I'm just <laughs> profusely sweating here. But just because <laughs> it's bright isn't going to make you hotter. It's you think like the sunlight's really warming you. What is it? Like over yeah. what is it, like 30 degrees? Something like that. Nearly 30 degrees. Matthew's wearing pants. You still wearing shoes? Matthew's wearing Take an your damn shoes off. He's wearing an undershirt <laughs> with a t-shirt. Layers. Did you say you were or you weren't wearing two pairs of socks? Uh, today I'm not, but my one pair of socks is doubled over. So yeah, it was basically two. Basically two. And jeans. Jeans, you, I'm never going to be not wearing jeans. I'm never going to be. I've seen you wear shorts. Yeah, you used to wear shorts. Yeah, never again. Known Why you a long time. You used to wear shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my legs, man. I got my left leg. It's 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 not for not for not for the people to see. Why? I feel like most because they're hairy. No, no, Matthew, you've got like some big veins. Yeah, yeah, my left. I don't know what to do about it. Oh, you can get in. I circus veins. I think that's the wrong. Uh, you can get injections to get rid of that. Yeah, I heard I can get and like. You actually should because it can cause a blood clot. My father did it. My sister did it. One of my coworkers had to do it after his Iron Man. Well, perhaps I'll, I'll horrify you off air. Oh, well, and they uh, go. It's not that bad. They go away for good, really. Really? Yeah, and you get to wear a compression sock, which you would love because you love layering up. Oh, oh, and it keeps your muscles feeling so good when you wear one of those compression those socks. Those are medical socks. I got to wear a medical sock? No, it's a compression sock. It looks mm. like it, it makes you look like, like an athlete. Sock. Yeah. It's like black. All right. And it's right. tight. Well, you know, well, I'll, I'll show it to you off air, and then you can gauge. It's, it's, it's you know, taking over the rest of my body, I think, too. It's well, made its way then past you should my definitely knee. go get yeah. injections, because it can cause a blood clot, and that can give you a heart attack. Yeah, have you gone and seen a doctor about this? No? No, I, this is this is not, not stuff I want to I wanna think about. <laughs> Let's, well, uh, maybe, maybe you should, so that you could wear shorts in the summertime. If that would be the reason, I think. Shorts in the summer. Also, Short you know, shorts. maybe avoiding a possible heart attack is Derek Outland. Yeah. No, if I, if I can get this leg fixed, I'm going to wear jean cutoffs all the time. Okay, well, look, if you go, they that. will test it and tell you whether or not you are in danger of getting a blood clot. And I suggest you at least do that. Okay. Will you come with me? Yeah, I'll go with you. Dr. Derek. Thank oh, yeah, you. you should get John on here. Dr. Durkaman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why I, I started calling you Dr. Durkaman at some point. You did. That was like in seizure. Yeah, I don't know what it's what's based on. I think it might have something to do with me starting to call your brother Doctor Vinny Boombots. Well, the Durka came from Team America. Durka 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 Muhammad Jihad. Durka Durka, 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 Durka Durka Muhammad Durka Durka, Durka, Durka Man Durka Man Doctor Durka Man. And you, my brother's nickname from you was Doctor Vinny Boombots. Yeah, which is an awesome nickname. Well, I mean, that's uh, that was uh, Letterman's doctor. Oh, yeah? He would go and see his doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombats. Okay, well, I still call and him And then we that. started calling your brother Dr. Vinnie Boombats, with his name being Vincent. It's stuck. And now he's, it's even gotten shortened into even a, an even cooler nickname, Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom? Which <laughs> you is call him pretty, Dr. Yeah, Boom Yeah, we now? call him Dr. Boom sometimes. And that's, uh, that's a pretty great nickname to come from a Letterman <laughs> I've joke. I've never heard you call him that. <laughs> so this week, we went to the Montreal Classic... Uh, the Montreal Pool Room, up on Saint Laurent, Saint Catherine Street. Uh, it's been there for a hundred and four years, I believe, was the number we saw. Yeah, nineteen twelve. And uh, since nineteen twelve, I believe they used to play pool there. Now it's really just a place where you can get some hot dogs and fries, hamburgers, poutines, pogos, the like. Not much else, really. Pretty simple mm. menu. Um, Derek, what was your first impression when we walked into the Montreal Pool Room? I probably noticed the number on the back of their shirts. Because you had, you had told me that it was there for a hundred some odd years. So mm-hmm. that was the first thing I noticed. Then all the maps. Yeah. But that's they, only because you started looking at them. Yeah, I, I guess wandered over. I got a little curious. Uh, there were a bunch of maps, and you said they were from 1992? The Montreal one was. Montreal one. At the Montreal one. They were these like caricature-ish maps of different cities. Uh, there were a few for the Montreal area. There was like a uh, West Island, Montreal West, Laval. downtown Montreal, Laval. Um, 
and they were just so strange. They were packed. They packed as much as they could into those maps, and the uh, geography of it was warped. Like there was no way you would see some of these things on the same map, and they were just like, "Well, we'll just kind of mush it in there it to fit all the things." Like it was yeah. really cartoony. Was there anything interesting that you spotted on any of those maps that really stood out to you, Derek? Well, the El Paso one I looked at for a little bit because I was recently there. See how much that one changed, but I didn't look at the date. So I'm assuming it was around the same time. Yeah, probably. So uh, El Paso map accurate? Wow. Um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, uh, I'm sure you looked at the West Island map. Find your grandparents' place. That West Island map was highly inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> there, certain landmarks were just not highlighted, and uh, I didn't care to look at it any longer than I did. Fair enough. All right. Where was the curling club? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Where mean, was, that was uh, what put you off, the curling club? It wasn't there, or it just wasn't the right I place? I couldn't see it. <laughs> so, I... Yeah, you know, whatever map isn't going to show the curling club is not a map I need to be looking at. Um, nice place, you know. Yeah. They had they had, for some reason they had pictures of uh, that location before they fixed things. I guess they they just had like yeah. horrible floors and they took a picture of that and framed it. And, <laughs> uh, they I had feel a, like you're not appreciating why they had that photo, Matthew. They had that photo. There was like a little bar for, uh, I guess, the line to twist around. Okay. And uh, at the front of the line, all the t- tiles had been worn down by millions of feet over hundreds of years. or Hundreds, hundreds of, of years. Hundreds <laughs> hundred of years. And uh, uh, it, the tiles had been worn down into like gravel. And I thought that was kind of charming that, like, so many people have walked through here that they had to redo the floors that had been ground down by, like, a, an inch or two of millions of feet. And so they took a picture, and I guess that's neat. I I always thought I could do that when I was younger, when I would watch the Flintstones, and I'd see uh, Fred <laughs> or Barney pacing back and forth and eventually working their way into a, into a deep groove. And so I would do that. It's My the... mom told me it's not going to work. It's not... <laughs> 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 or or were, you just, hours. were you just suspicious that your mom was trying to protect her floors at that point? It could have gone either way. And I was like, well, I'm, it's not going to stop me from trying for hours. This is what I'm going to do when I get home from school. <laughs> you should just try to do it on the stairs. That would work eventually. Yeah. Just well, I could, I could have. It warped down. Like when you're going down the train station. So all the, mm, all the stairs yeah, are warped. Yeah. It's marble. Again, though, like millions of feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many. Well, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> so it worked here. And yeah. uh, they felt it uh, worthy of their wall. There were some other pictures. Uh, Kristen's, uh, Kristen's cousin, you know, yeah. saying she saying really loved the hot dogs. Jose oh, Theodore. Jose Theodore. I love yeah. that it's Kristen's cousin still to you. Jose Theodore. <laughs> yeah, I know. Huh? <laughs> um, Jose Theodore signed photo. After a fight. Yeah. One of the pictures yeah, was him after, was a, after fight. a fight. looked real ticked off. Which was probably like the only one of his career being a goaltender. Well, that's yeah. when you're thinking about hot dogs the most. That makes sense. Yeah. Got to work off that anger somehow. Go to Montreal Pool Room. Have a nice snack. So today we went for a hamburger. Uh, did we all get cheeseburgers? We all got cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers all around? Mm. Yep. Matthew, what was your first thought of the cheeseburger that you had today at Montreal Pool Room? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Derek accidentally... <laughs> uh, I made Derek uh, dress my burger. What Actually, Seba did. What? When you said I was up, it was actually... Oh, <laughs> well, you both oh. ordered a number 10. Or, I ordered no. a number 9. I was the only one. I, I ordered, ordered a 9. 10. Yeah, you ordered a 9 You both ordered a well. 9. Matthew ordered a 10. Sorry, my bad. Mm, whatever. Well, anyway. I mean, it's his burger. Classic uh, burger surgery. Remove, yeah, Matthew, uh, remove a tomato. Yeah, threw that out. Uh, and the bunch pickles. Of, bunch of pickles. Derek, oh. you took a lot of those pickles. You oh. didn't even need the one that you asked me to leave you. Well, you left me like three. Yeah, and you didn't want them. Oh, I ate them, but I didn't like them. <laughs> but you have your pickles on the side, I believe. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I took Derek got of some of those pickles? I got extra pickles. Oh, so we all had a variation of the same burger. Not mm. quite the exact same mm. burger. No. It's a little... Uh, so Matthew... <laughs> Gross! Excuse me. Um, <laughs> Matthew, once you finally bit into that uh, post-surgery burger, how did you feel about it? I felt satisfied. It felt like exactly what I was going to get. Uh, much better than like a Lafleur burger, even though I, I kind of thought it was going to be like a Lafleur burger. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, did we go to Le Fleur or Belle Provence? We went to Belle Provence, wow. but Le Fleur burger is not that different, honestly. Mm, well, I thought it was going to taste like a Belle Provence burger, and it tasted better than that. Derek? Uh, yeah, I agree. It was a little bit better. 
Uh, it was a, a lot of filler. It was nice. Like uh, they were, they weren't stingy on the on the dressings. on the toppings. Yeah. That sounds like a like a bad thing when you say there was a lot of filler. Don't yeah. you want all killer, no filler? No, yeah, I understand. But the patty wasn't <laughs> <laughs> the the patty wasn't very big. No, it wasn't a very thick patty. But it wasn't overcooked. So it was pretty juicy. Yeah. I was impressed at how much there was of toppings too. Relish, yeah. onions, plenty of onions. Yeah. The pickles I thought were really good pickles. Yeah, lots of coleslaw. Uh, lots of coleslaw, and mustard. Good. Yeah, that a good poutine too. Yeah, that's true. We got it with a poutine. Matthew, you just got French fries. Well, I ordered a pogo on the side. Yeah, so you did they I. get a pogo on the side. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, Sebastian, you ordered I think everything on the menu tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All the main things basically. I got a, I got a pogo because I walked in and saw a pogo on the menu. But we were there for a hamburger, but I was very hungry. And then on the hamburger menu, the cheeseburger, the first one I saw that was a cheeseburger, came with a poutine. So I went, oh, whatever. I'm not going to fight the menu. Let me just get what's on there. I was happy with that because it was yeah. a good poutine. Generous very, on the cheese. Very cheesy. And the cheese was so fresh. Yeah, it didn't. Even by uh, the end of the poutine. It didn't it was, melt like by the end of the poutine. It was still very, it was still squeaky. Still squeaking on my yeah. teeth. And I, I feel, I feel, I don't know if I've. I've made this up over my years, or this is true, that the squeakiness of the cheese is is what the indicator of how fresh it is. I don't know if there's truth to that. I, don't, I, can, I wouldn't know. Do you feel that way in your heart, Derek? Um, I don't know. I never really thought of it as a freshness kind of thing. Maybe their gravy just wasn't that hot. Like, I didn't burn my mouth when I first tried the puts in. That's Usually true. that's what happens to me. I imagine I'm you burn your mouth a lot, Derek. Yeah, I'm impatient. Too eager. Hmm. The worst is pizza when it when it just the glue just it's like not the glue the, the cheese glue. just melts to the top of your top roof of your mouth and you're you're just no. screwed. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> just, well, I'm just, I remember Derek loving pizza. He used to call it Za all the time. Za, Za, yeah. yeah. I think you got that from Dane though. Ah, oh, well, Dane. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Zane, Dane came up with Za. No. No, but I'm I remember sure it's you, an '80s thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I never knew you wrote it on a little. On a little Even though uh, Dane sometimes seems like he should be like the bad guy from an '80s movie. <laughs> he looks like um, what's his name, Judge from Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, yeah, Judge Reinhold. John, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, Derek, you gotta you gotta calm down. When you're eating that hot pizza. I know it tastes good, but uh, that cheese is gonna burn the palate, and you're not gonna have that beautiful voice. You're gonna have a bad day. No, it says it's just. Just as everything else burns afterwards. Vinegar, it's not good. As long as he's not swallowing that pizza whole, I don't think he's got to worry about burning his voice. Mm. Well, I don't know. Some your that, voice lives in here. Yeah, right but in sometimes the, right it, in the heart of you. Sometimes it bounces <laughs> off your palate. You know, you don't. You wouldn't say it bounces. Well, Derek, Derek, you, you. Uh, oh, the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek, you used to, you used to be, uh, you know, no stranger to to music. Yeah. How, yeah. Uh, how, how big a role does the palate play? Not not really a huge one, I guess. Well, you know, undecided we are <laughs> on this. Um, so what Derek said as our uh, as our expert on singing, uh, disregard that, please. Yeah, <laughs> if it's not my opinion, then, then whatever. Too much cheese to the palate, I think, on this no, guy. Too, the cheese Don't, is just too hot. That's, it's that's the still melted. Because, because Derek is too eager to eat his pizza. Yep. Comes out of the oven, ooh, Derek wants to eat it. He can't wait. It's <laughs> true. Going back to Za, though. For a while after we started calling it, uh, I started calling the, I started shortening other words. So I started calling the Montreal Metro, the subway, uh, the, uh, sorry, the Montreal subway, the Metro, the Tro. And then there are certain places along the Tro line where you can get za, and that's Tro za. <laughs> and so I would tell people like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to get some Tro za. And very few people understood what the hell I was saying. I'm sure most people did not. Is it that confusing, you think, Troza? Well, you abbreviated two different things and then made one word with it. Yes. <laughs> and then you expect people to know what you're talking about. This I is mean, not... some people did. Mm. I guess people that I was around enough to know that I call the Metro the Tro. Well, you explain these pizza, things a lot, though. Is, uh, so maybe maybe true. they'll have heard you of explain. It's a good way to make people feel like unhip. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm hip. I'm with it. I'm on fleek. What, you don't know what Troza is? Yeah. Uh, uh, but as far as burning